Welcome, I'm your master level trainer, Alex Diaz, aka Mr. Freaking Huge, and today's video is going to be a back and tricep video. So I start off with some pull-ups, and I like using uh, the assist pull-up, even though I don't have any weights, um, I, might, I don't have any weights to assist me. I like using this because uh, traditional, you know, um, you know, gyms, their pull-up stations are just straight, and here you can actually go in between because there's no bar where your head's at. So it's you work it, working more of the the lats. It's similar to doing a behind the back lat pull down. So now I go into a tricep extension with with a rope. So I, I do a sometimes I go back to tricep, back to back, like back to back tricep, then back and tricep, just so I could uh, you know alleviate one muscle, train it hard, and go to the next and do the same thing. So um, I do about four to five sets of, of every workout you're seeing here. Now here I'm doing a standing uh, pullover on the cable, working the, the lats again. And I wanted to get a really thick uh, lats and that gives you the nice V taper effect. So doing pull-ups without uh, any bars, um, meaning that there's no bar above your head. And doing this workout right here would help bring the, your lats out. I definitely feel it right underneath my armpits. Um, you don't want to lock out your elbows and you don't want to extend your, your elbow because then you're gonna feel it's, it's you're gonna feel your triceps because you're doing an extension so then I go into a piece of skull crusher on the machine version and you know I, I do a little bit of everything sometimes I might use a bar doing a you know skull crusher sometimes I use a dumbbell sometimes I decide to me just go to a machine you know um, so uh, I just change up my routine all the time and here I'm just doing a you know rear squat crusher, and I do about four sets of these, and then we go into another back workout, into a seated row, uh, plate loaded seated row. This is my last set. I'm doing about uh, five plates, I think, and I have my other hand on the on the hand grip, just so I try to keep my left chest on the pad, and when I do my right side, and then the same thing, vice versa when I when I do uh, the left arm, I try to put my right side to hold the grip, so I keep my right chest on the pad. And yeah, I'm using a, a bit of English because uh, it is heavy weight, but I'm pretty happy because I used to wear straps for these five plates, and now I don't anymore. So, which is a good thing. And here we're doing a reverse tricep extension on a cable. This is a close-up. Um, I actually had to buy a a, a tripod stand. Uh, that extends out so I could place it on the ground and it actually extends out But all I had here on this video was a little tripod that I'm I have it hooked around the machine So it's pretty close But hopefully in my next video you'll see I have a better angle And here we're doing a variation of a, of a pull down, but we're going at an angle So uh, this is an old traditional bodybuilding type of workout. You don't see a lot of people doing these But it's same it's simulating like a lap pull down, but at an angle and you know it's uh you go pretty heavy on this uh, I, I think i did a 120 pounds on each side um and it's a good stretch you kind of want to pull separate your hands and it's a good stretch for your for your back too uh here i'm doing behind the neck extension single arms and you could tell the pump of my lats i mean look at look at my lats it's just coming out and that's why i like doing uh, back and tricep because while you're doing one workout the other one is being stretched so when you're doing a, a behind the back pull down, I mean a behind the back extension like I'm doing here with single arms, I'm stretching my lats. So that's why I like to go in between doing my lats and triceps because one is being stretched, one is being worked. And that's why I like doing pushing, pulling exercises like back and triceps or chest with biceps. But this is my preference. There's no right or wrong way of doing things. This is just how I like to do it and I, that's why I like to do them. And um, so... Here I'm just you know, alternating to the other arm, doing the same thing. Uh, this is my second set, I think, and I do about four to five sets of these. And here I'm doing just a, a variation of a skull crusher, but it's for the chest. I'm not, I don't know the name of this workout. Um, I will call it a chest crusher. <laughs> but uh, it's just, uh, if you have issues with your elbows, don't try this at all. If you have uh, healthy elbows, I recommend you do it. It's a really good tricep workout. And that's my finisher for the tricep workout. So, and, and that's my back and tricep workout. So, 
Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're not subscribed, that's not sexy. Stay freaking huge.